What's up guys, Gary with Self-Taught Dev. Today we are gonna go over how to enable virtualization on your device. Now, why do you wanna do this? I don't know, why do you wanna do this? Let me know in the comments below why you're trying to do this. For me, I just wanted to be able to run virtual machines like VirtualBox, so I needed this enabled, but if you've got a different reason, let me know in the comments, I'm curious. Now to do this, there's basically just two steps. We need to one, get into the BIOS menu, and two, enable virtualization, pretty simple. The trickiest part is probably gonna be getting into the BIOS menu because depending on your device hardware, getting into that's gonna be a little different for each device. For me, all I need to do is just spam the delete key when I restart. Commonly, it's either F2 or delete, but if you go to about my PC and pull up your settings, you should be able to see what kind of motherboard you have just search on Google for your motherboard and BIOS hotkey, and it should tell you what you need to spam when you restart to get into BIOS. Again, for me, all I need to do is spam the delete key. I've got a MSI BIOS, click BIOS, I think. So that's, if that helps you out at all, that's what I've got. But we are just going to click on this, click on restart, and when we restart, we'll start spamming that key and that should get us into the BIOS menu. We do have to go mobile for this because obviously when I click restart, my OBS isn't going to keep running. So. so we are restarting. I'm going to wait till the screen goes black and then I'm going to just start spamming the delete key like that. And then we will wait while this power cycles. You can see my monitors are going off, no power. And then once it comes back on, it should just boot up straight into the BIOS menu for us. Again, we're still spamming the delete key here. And there we go, we are in the BIOS menu. So from here, it might get a little hairy if your BIOS menu is different than mine. I've, as you can see, got an MSI Click BIOS 5. So if you have the same one, you can just follow along. Otherwise, you are gonna have to dig through the settings a little bit. Just look for something that says virtualization and then make sure that's enabled and you should be good. Now it's probably gonna be in the advanced settings. I have to go to advanced settings. And then it's actually not in settings for me, it's in overclocking. So we're gonna click on overclock. We're gonna go down to the bottom here. We're gonna go to CPU features. And then we've got the Intel virtualization tech. And you're just going to ensure that that is enabled. All you need to do is click on it, click on enabled, and you should be good to go. Now, as you saw, mine's already enabled, but from here, all you need to do, if there's any instructions on how to save in your BIOS menu, follow those. For mine, I can just click X and then it will ask me to save configuration and exit. I'll click on yes, and then that will save the changes I made and restart my device. So we'll keep giving this a second and then it should reboot back into our regular mode for us. And from there, you should be good to go. Uh, we've got virtualization enabled. Hope this helps you guys out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Um, let YouTube know this video helps you out. If you got any questions, concerns, running any issues, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to try and help you out. Other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Peace. Round one.